hey you guys welcome back i just want to show you in this video five looks of how i take my sporty looks from very casual to sports like so stay tuned In this look, I paired two of my favorite items. I paired an oversized shirt with an olive green parka that has quite a bit of detailing, sporty detailing. So if I were to dress down the parka, then it would give you a more sporty look. Remember, I'm not that much of a casual person. Um, I like a good combination of my formals and my casuals together. I didn't really add that much of accessories to this look because already the look is a bit busy with all the drawstrings and the hardwares, um, the buttons, etc. Uh, that's what I look for when I am shopping for my um, sporty look, which as you can see makes the look quite effortless and very chic. And it also gives a postmodernism sort of a look which means that it will always stay relevant. So I used all these gold buttons to act as my jewelry. That's why I have minimal jewelry on because I felt like, should I add any more jewelry or anything of that sort, then it's just gonna overpower the look. Um, and it's gonna make it look busy but you can throw in a watch this is a good look for a casual night out I'll probably add a satin black clutch bag just to dress it up some more To dress down the look, I would remove the heels and um, replace them with a pair of sneakers, add a utility belt and a cap just to make it look much more casual but, you know, not too casual for me. Well, this look, I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram. I really like the combination. Um, I'm not that much of a trendy person but... I like this look because it's practical for me. I, I um, paired a pair of joggers with thigh high boots and a crop top purely because it's not that cold yet in autumn. Um, I just, you know, put a wool blazer on my shoulders just in case it gets cold. On the more colder days, I would cinch in my waist using a utility belt or in the nighttime should it get colder. In the colder weathers, I like a vintage or a granny look. So I decided to pair this look with a beanie and roll it up just for, you know, that bit of a chic look. To dress down the look, I decided to pair it with a faux, faux leather Bala cap and a pair of sneakers um, These are the only sneakers black sneakers. I have except for these um, all-star high tops and I don't think the all-star high tops sort of done this look, you know um, Sports likes justice. So that's why I decided to sport it up with these sneakers This one might just be my favorite look. Um, guess who I'm channeling here? 
Yup, Kim Kardashian. There's a picture that she posted wearing a very similar outfit. And I was so inspired by that picture. Um, I felt like it resonated with me a lot. And so I decided to recreate the look. I like the reflective detailing on the jacket and the hardware at the back of the leggings. Um, I felt like they merge the look together with the boots as well. The reflective detailing merges the look together very well with the boots. To dress down the look, obviously I'd put in white tennis shoes and um, a pair of these blue reflective sunglasses. This look is a bit dressier. I decided to pair up this Puma crop top with a faux, faux leather um, skirt and a blazer. Once again, the hardware on the blazer is acting as my jewelry um, and the gold on the Puma crop top. Um, all I did was just add two accessories. A black headband would have been more ideal, but I don't have a black headband. I should get one. Um, but the brown one also does work and the black shades as well minimal earrings as usual to dress it down i added a backpack my cap backwards and a pair of black sneakers and that confidence girl never ever forget the confidence like and comment in the section bar below for your favorite favorite outfits um subscribe if you haven't otherwise i will see you next time